Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export subclips in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, subclips are a great way to break up a really long shot into a whole bunch of smaller shots. You don't typically need 10 minutes of footage in an edit, so you break up the really important parts, and those are subclips. There is a way that once you break them up within Premiere Pro that you can export them all really fast and simple, and that's what I'm going to be going over today. So first off, we need to grab the clip that we want to break up. In this situation, it's this go-kart racing clip that is roughly 10 minutes long, so way too long to put anything realistic. We want to grab some highlights from this. So let's say that we go through and we are going to start grabbing highlights. We double click on whatever footage we're using. So in this situation, it's the race two down here. If we double click, it'll also open up where we grabbed it. But we want to make sure that we click on this to open it up here in the source monitor. Now, once we're in the source monitor, we go through it and let's say that we want to find a place where we make something cool happen. You know, maybe there's this cool turn or something like that right here. So we go here and wherever the cursor is, if we click the I button, it'll create an endpoint there. We watch it, we watch it and we say, hey, this is where the cool part ends. So we click the O button. That'll create an endpoint and an out point. Now, if we click control U, we go ahead and we quickly make a sub clip on that and we can name it really fast. So, you know, cool turn, click that, drag it into the sub clip folder. And we're going to do this throughout the, the process. So I'm just going to go ahead and just drag this down just to make a couple more for this. So, you know, cool overtake. And then we'll go one more. So we'll go down here and we'll say, I don't know, uh, control U and then end of race. So now we have three subclips that we like. We're going to drag them all into our subclip folder as we make them. This keeps us organized. If you don't know how to make a folder, right click, new bin. It'll create yourself a new folder right there. The reason, again, that we do this is it makes it uh, a lot easier if you have hundreds of subclips because all you have to do to export all of these is you click on the bottom one, hold the shift key, and click on the top one. And this works the opposite way too. Click on the top one, hold the shift key, click on the bottom one. It'll select everything in between, which will select everything in the folder. And then also what we can do is we can hold the control key if we want to select different files like so. So as long as we keep this control key hit, uh, held down, everything we click is going to go ahead and be selected. You know, we can select basically anything like this. But what we want, again, is just all the subclips. So we're going to select all of them like so. Then we right click, we hit export media. It's going to bring us to the export settings right here. Then we have the ability to choose all of our presets, uh, H.264, match high rate. When you do this, you're going to lose just a tiny bit of quality. That's the only way you're going to be able to realistically break up subclips because you have to take that full file and you have to actually chop it up. That isn't something that can just be done quickly. It has to be done with a re-render. So in this situation, we will have to lose just a little bit of quality to maintain these subclips uh, to make them their own clips. But anyway, once we are happy with all of our settings, we click the Q button. It's going to go ahead and open up Media Encoder for us. And you have to have a, a subscription for this to work properly, um, an Adobe subscription for this to work properly. But once it opens up, you'll be in the Media Encoder menu here, and all three of them will open up right here on the side. And we can go ahead and we can change where these are gonna export. If we do that exact same thing, we click the bottom, hold to the top, so we select all of them. Uh, and I wanna click down here and do it just in case. Then we click on this and now we have the ability to select where we want it to go. And so I just made it a folder on the desktop and I selected it to go right into there. We click this play button and they are going to render out. So let's go ahead and do that. Once they are all rendered out, we can go ahead and find that folder. If you click on this right here, it'll bring up that folder for you to quickly get you. You'll see that we have them all labeled just like they were named within Premiere Pro. And if we double click on one of these, you'll notice that it is that sub clip. It's a 13 second long clip instead of that really long 10 minute clip and we can do this as many times as we want and it'll render them all out for us thanks everyone for joining me if you have any questions or comments go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net if you want to see some of this one go on that subscribe button and make a video basically every other day thanks everyone for joining me and until next time guys see ya